Okay. Tore me tween two lovers, feeling like a fool. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. What's the other one? Uh, oh, my God. What's the other song, y'all? Uh, oh, God. I can't even think of What's the other... Um, Triangular song. Uh, I could just go with this. Um, borderline. Seems like I'm going to lose my mind. You just keep on pushing my love over the borderline. Keep pushing me. Keep pushing my love. You're pushing my love over the borderline. Borderline. Okay, I'm trying to, as y'all can tell, uh, kill a little time like we always do, family. Uh, but what I really want to just uh, get into real quickly and not make a long video out of this because I'm uh, supremely disappointed even though i didn't have much stock in this lady i think what you're doing now and what you're bragging about now is very hurtful and very disrespectful for a man that you just got out of a relationship with so let's talk about kim kardashian and just now you letting all of it come out you are letting all of it come out we already knew that you were a student of whoredom OK. Um, and that your mama put you out there the way she has. At least that's the consensus of most of us. Um, but what you're doing now to Kanye and even though Kanye is not wrapped too tight, what you're doing to him now is pure evil as far as I'm concerned. Um, I could never have a relationship with somebody and share children with them and then do them. And their love the way you doing him. Now, you know good and damn well he's got issues. You knew that when you start taking his money and when you let him build you up, when you let him get you the fake ass and all the other stuff that he did for you. You knew how crazy Kanye's ass was. You knew it already. Now, there's an African proverb that say when you get your hands caught in the lion's mouth, you don't snatch it out, bitch. You ease it out. You ease it out. I'm not saying that Kanye should run your life. And I'm not saying that you. I've made several videos saying that he needs to slow his ass down. But now this video is for you. Because you got children. And first of all, I think it's very freaking disrespectful. Very disrespectful you for you to be on Ellen talking about Pete Davidson got... Uh, his your name branded into his skin. What the hell? This you just met know this guy for what met him not met him but y'all just been in a relationship five months. This is a married woman, a woman that was married to a friend of yours. Y'all is nasty. Y'all just really really nasty. Anyway, Kim Kardashian boasts Pete Davidson got her brand her name branded into his chest with a hot iron and has slew of tattooed tools about her, including one that says, my girl is a lawyer. Now you're doing all this on the damn Ellen show to try to antagonize uh, Kanye. That is so dirty. That's so mean spirited. Um, and everything they say about you, Kim, is true. You a low down bitch. You low down. To pull this off right here, excuse my French, to do this to this man is really low down. That's some real low down type of shit right there. Uh, Kim confirmed on uh, Ellen that Pete put her, her name first on his chest. The Star 41 beamed as she said it was not a tattoo, but ra rather a branding. Now, the comedian had a hot iron that spelled Kim. 
put on his chest. That way the love mark could never be removed like a tattoo can. This is sick. She also shared with Ellen that he has several more marks dedicated to her. So y'all like to uh, cut each other and hurt each other, huh? Self, Lord have mercy. Pete is known for getting tattoos of his girlfriend's names. And when he was engaged to Ariana Grande, he got a tat dedicated to her. But now he's in the process of removing his 70 plus tattoos. Now, him and Kim have been dated since 2021 and they kissed on Saturday Night Live. She shocked her fans by revealing her boyfriend, Pete Davidson, got her name branded into his chest with a hot iron in a jaw-dropping new interview. That's disgusting. DeGeneres asked the mother of four about Pete's new marking after fans spotted her name on his chest in a bedroom selfie that he sent to her ex-husband, Kanye West. Y'all ain't got to do him like that. Y'all really don't. Now you, now you, boy, now you evil. You know, and I'm not saying Kanye. Listen, you knew who he was, and you and you married him, and now you want to do him like this, in the heart of his crisis, in the depths of his crisis, knowing that he's in love, knowing that he's all. A uh, uh, psychotic about how this relationship has turned out. And you can't ease your hand out the lion's mouth. You got to snatch it out and hurt him and break his heart all the way out his chest. I think you're wrong. Now, everybody got a different opinion, but if, if that was my daughter, I'd be like, honey, it's too soon. This is a borderline type of situation. This is a personality disorder type of situation. You got no business getting involved with somebody that soon. Anyway, you're too old to be just jumping out of beds and in beds like that. You a mama. And your girls is watching everything you do. I'm done. I'm done because I didn't know you was that crazy. I didn't know you would do that. You know, he's in a process of removing several tattoos from his neck and chest, which he now says he regrets because he wants to pursue a career as a leading man in Hollywood and thinks the ink will hold him back. He has over 70 tattoos and all. You worried about Hollywood. You should be worried about a hepatitis. Kim doesn't have a tattoo of her own and in the past has sworn off undergoing the needle, but has been claimed that Kim told Sister Chloe many years ago she won't get a tattoo because you don't put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. Throughout her interview with Ellen, Kim was bubbly with joy. As she said many times, Pete Branding was cute. And they are a cute couple. I have the cutest pictures of us. I want to be like, oh my God, we're so cute. But then I'm like, don't be so desperate. Don't be posting so much. Just give a glimpse. See, she's so glad to get away from Kanye. That she done lost her damn mind. And now she's resorted back to the whore. That she was when he met her. Oh well. And um, I think it's horrible. For what they are uh, doing to Kanye. I, I, in terms as far as that's concerned. That's too much information. Listen to Kanye. Unfortunately, I know he feels really bad. His ego. 
you know. She noted that she took her time looking for a boyfriend after filing for divorce. Really? I went for it. I took my time and I found it. And it feels so good. I want to hold on to that forever. The comedian sent an image to Wes. The name Kim can be seen on the upper left corner under his shoulder among the other dozens of tattoos. Kanye, um, I, I, I hope you get through this because um, it's really hard when somebody break your heart and it's hard when you're on the other end of a uh, rejection from love. But you do your best and you take care of your kids and um, uh, charge Kim to the game because that's where she came from. Put her back. Let her go. You know, you wifed her up. Um, and it's crazy. So don't ruin your legacy by going after her like that. You built her up. So with that being said, you guys, what y'all think about that? What y'all think about this man then tattooed these stuff on her, on his neck and chest already? Insane. Okay, you guys. I, if you like what you hear.